I don't understand Soludo's motive for attacking Obi who paid salaries and pensions. Dahiru Majid, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Amid the controversy surrounding Governor Charles Chikuma Soludo's statements regarding the former Governor of Anambra State and Presidential Candidate of the Labour Party, LP Gregory Peter Obi, Dahiru Majid, a well-known Nigerian journalist while speaking during an exclusive interview with the AIT News, has questioned Soludo's motive regarding some things he said about P2B in his letter. While speaking during the interview, Majid noted that Soludo's administration had resulted to taxing people in the state with the aim of raising enough money to run his government, adding that this automatically means that the government that took over from Obi who left behind the healthy reserve did, did not have the challenges his government is facing now. According to his words, Dahiru Majid says Saludo's administration has resorted to taxing people and the state to raise revenue to run the government. This means that the government that took over from P2B who left behind a healthy reserve did not have these challenges. Obiano did not have issues, were paying salaries when most governors depended on billows to pay salaries. This helped the second term bid. I did not know the motive behind what Soludo is trying to achieve by taking someone's credential that he struggled to build. Further speaking, Dari Majid, who noted that it would have been a different argument if P2B was saving while owing salaries and pensions, made it known that one, the one-time governor of Anambra State and flag bearer of the Labour Party, LP Peter Gregory B, did not owe salaries, adding that he cleared the backlog of pensions before leaving office. My dear, I'm telling you. You see, before now, I was not looking at it from this angle, but I'm now, with all this thing coming out, I'm like, the man will try. Even if Soludo is coming out to say, you know, body they pay them, saying they borrow money, you know, they do some things. Uncle, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's not a P2B. P2B is not even the one you're going to be facing. If you want to face anybody, you should be facing a was a cold. All right. Why is it coming out to attack him? Why? That's my own. Why are you coming out to attack P2B so much? What exactly is the problem? Hmm? The motive is clear. P2B is a stumbling block to the presidential aspiration of many Igbo politicians including Soludo ahead of 2031, where he manages to clinch the presidency now, this informs the envy. Now, is this not ridiculous? It is very ridiculous because we are in 2022. They never reached 2030. Somebody is contesting for election in 2023, and you are fighting him because you, eh, in, in 2031, you want to come outside and contest the presidency. As I don't understand. You can't. Ha. Now, wow. When we say this, all some people know is to get angry and attack. At this point, now many people from different ending groups are in support of P2B becoming the president of Nigeria. But it is a fellow Igbo man, Saludo, that is trying very hard to bring him down as uh, if, pos if possible. You can see clearly that it is the fellow Igbos that are the major obstacles to Igbo emancipation and survival. My brother, you can say that again. <laughs> This character can be seen everywhere. We shall live long. Me as an Igbo, I, I don't even know what our problem is. Severely have I haste. Ah, my brother, this one don't even pass his in matter. There is no other motive than envy, jealousy, and doing the bidding of enemies of Southeast. I am happy the elders and the cultural organization, Ohanis and Dibo, have, landed, have handed him over to the demonic deities in Igbo land so that they will show him what demons do to the heirs of a stubborn rat and a foolish man. My own business makes Soludo slow down. Hmm? In Soludo, I have discovered that some professors need to be re-educated. This corroborates the saying that passing six is not passing sense. He might be brilliant but unintelligent. Like how could a professor settle for less? How could a professor settle for on the same pedestal with those at the margins of education? The simple truth is that Soludo, I have discovered that some professors need to be re-educated. My, as in, you know, I, I've, I'm of the opinion that had it been even um, 
Ch- uh, Chukuma Suludu, that's the governor of, uh, uh, what's it called? The governor of um, Anambra State. He's actually, cont- as in, he was now the ex-governor and he's running for presidency. Do you understand? I'll say, okay, but you're not running for presidency now and you're attacking like this. Now, wow. I believe Soludo is a paid agent and will soon meet his doom. Today, Soludo becomes the number one enemy of Igbo race. My dear, I'm not in support of, you know, people going to attack him and holding insult at him or because, of course, that does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. But I'm just like, my hand, my mouth is hanging a gap. The first one to be governor through the back door of the Supreme Court and now lives at Douglas. And this one came in subtly, like it's the Siva and the Eden Garden, all doing the bidding of their father to destabilize the people of the southern Niger. They will fall in the, they will fail in the mission. I have said it before. That do you know that uh, people are not even understanding if by 2031 hmm, or whenever there's actually a hmm, there's actually a reason why maybe for one reason or the other Peter B did not win and then somebody start coming up and say start warming up for 2031 how he wants to you know contest for election the person is from the southeastern region oh but it's going to be difficult why? Because they'll be of the opinion that, look, you know, when your brother was coming out to co- contest for election, where were you? That would be the, that would be the option. Okay. The first one came to be governor for, oh, okay, of part, where the particular. Mine is that for Nigeria unity and the country to move forward, presidency need to be given, given to the Igbos for justice and fairness. I am Yoruba, but what will I say but be the truth? Yes. Okay. And I'm Yoruba, but I'll say the bitter truth. Obi owe 13 months salary, worker's salary in Anambra, according to the former NLC chairman in Anambra, who is now the chairman of pensioners in Anambra. Presidency is not a gift, but it is for fighting. Okay. He was a hater of themselves. She may not have politician who is an opponent of Atiku ever attacked him, but your own will go make sure you say them tarnish your image. And that is the problem. And it is not right. You don't know that every region are very envious of themselves. There was a slogan, Ibunwe, Ibunwe jealousy. How can they be and the be become president? That was what we gave it to. How can he be in the People's Democratic Party and the be become president? All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And so, like, I'm here next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.